What's up guys, welcome back to Awesome Make Stuff. This week we're gonna be making a squirrel feeder that looks like a miniature picnic table. And I'm gonna put it right back here on this tree, so stay tuned. Now for this build, I'm just gonna use some very basic tools so that anybody can make it from home. I'm basically gonna use a saw. This is just a little Japanese pull saw. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm going to use a tape measure. I'm going to use um, a straight edge as well as glue. Now the one thing I'm going to use that you might not have at your house is a nailer. I'm going to use an a air compressor nailer, uh, but I'm going to use these one inch nails. And you could just use nails for hanging picture frames. You'll just need a few to assemble it all together. Without further ado, let's get started. Now I have a ton of scraps left over from one of the projects that I did. This is actually the scribe board that I used for my cedar shingle siding. And I'm going to turn this into part of the uh, picnic table. I think this board is a, it's about a one by four, so it's really about three quarters of inch by three and a half inches. Uh, I think this would be, make a good top. I'm gonna cut this down to seven inches. So let's do that first. All right, so there is our top. I'm gonna make two seats to go on either side of it that match the length. So if you can imagine this, right here is the top and then those are the seats. Uh, that's pretty much what it's going to be like, so I just got to build the structure underneath it. I'm also going to use that same board for the seats uh, to brace underneath here too. So what we're going to do now is basically I want two of these and I want them to be cut the width of this whole stack. So they, these will be what hold the seat up. And now I just have to make a structure that holds the tabletop up. So the legs will attach to the top of the table, attach to the support piece, and then extend further. I want to cut this at a 30 degree angle. 30 degrees. Mark right here on this side. So we want that about that long. And this angle is going to be the same direction as this one. Okay, I'm going to make three more pieces that are just like this. Okay, on the bottom side, I went ahead and made a line right down the middle because I want these legs to land right there on the line. Just like that on the line. So here's a width of one of those legs. I'm just gonna make a mark here on the underside. You'll never see. So there's a mark there. I'm gonna mark the other side underneath. So this is the point that I want the legs to hit. So what we're gonna do is glue these legs on and I'm gonna pin nail it. Uh, and what that'll do is just kind of hold it tight while the glue dries. And once the glue dries, it's going to be super tight. So that one is just to kind of hold it, flip it, and then hit it from the top. It was right about here that my video got corrupted. Uh, so I'm just kind of doing a quick drawing to show you exactly what I did. I put the stretchers on first and then added the seats on top, glued it all and nailed it together. And that was about it. I've got some corn seed that I'm gonna throw up there. Uh, but I just wanna say, if you're new to my channel, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I have a really interesting uh, birdhouse that I made for bluebirds that I'm getting a lot of feedback that it works really well. It's got a slot entry for the, uh, for the bluebirds to get in, but I make videos like this uh, pretty regularly, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. 
uh, and check out more videos that I make and I'm gonna be posting some more videos as well so uh, in the meantime let's see if we can catch one of those squirrels on video that is and now now we wait we really only have one squirrel in our yard and I wasn't able to get footage of it, but I will be posting a new video shortly with an update and maybe some footage of a squirrel using it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.